Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Sanjan Bal. In today's class, we will discuss about the left recursive grammar. Okay, so what is the meaning of left recursive grammar? See here. Any production, any production, any production is in the form, any production is in the form A to A alpha class beta. Any production is in the form A to A alpha class beta. See here. Here the left side is A and here in the right side, the leftmost element is also A, means this is A and this is also A. If both are matched, if both are matched, is known as left recursive grammar. So this grammar is known as left recursive grammar. Any production is in the form, the left side, leftmost element is non-terminal, means leftmost element is non-terminal and the rightmost element is non-terminal, but both are must be same, but both are must be same, okay? This is the, in the right side, this is the, in the right side, but the left of the right, left, this is called the left of the right side, both are must be same. So this is, that's why this is called left recursive trauma, okay? In the second point, it is not suitable. It is not suitable for LL1 parser. It is not suitable for LL1 parser. Next point, we can make, we can make left recursive. We can make left recursive grammar. We can make left recursive grammar suitable for LL1, for LL1 parsing for LL1 parsing by removing the left recursive from it. That means since this grammar is left recursive, since this grammar is left recursive, we can, we can eliminate the left recursive from this grammar. We can eliminate the left recursive from the grammar. Then this grammar after removal of left recursion after removal of left recursion from the left recursive grammar, this grammar means this grammar can be useful, can be useful for LL1 parser. Means after elimination of left recursive, after elimination of left recursive, okay? So how to eliminate the left recursion, uh, left recursive from the left rec uh, recursive grammar? See here. Removal of left recursion. Removal of left recursion. How to eliminate or how to remove the left recursion? If the grammar contains left recursion. If the grammar is in the form A to A alpha beta. A to A alpha beta. How to eliminate the left recursion? See here, this is the A and this, part, this one is also A. So if both are matched, then it is called as left recursion. So how to remove see here a alpha slash beta a to beta and a prime a prime is here is a new variable a prime is here a new non-terminal also we can say a to this beta means after slash after slash only beta is present so beta a prime a prime and what is the meaning of a prime here a prime is, here a prime is this alpha, this alpha part, alpha part and a prime plus epsilon, plus epsilon, okay? In this way, we can eliminate the left recursion. Here, this is the beta part, this is beta part and this is alpha part. A to beta and a prime, a prime is here, a prime is a new variable and A prime, what is the meaning of A prime? A prime is alpha, alpha A prime slash epsilon, slash epsilon. This is called as the left recursive grammar. So now this grammar, now this grammar can be used for, for LL1. This grammar can be useful for LL1 per se. But this grammar cannot be useful, cannot cannot be useful for 
LL1 parsing. But this grammar can be useful for can be used for LL1 parsing. Okay. Next one. See here, this is the general form. If the grammar is in the form, if the grammar is in the form, A2, A alpha, A alpha 2, sorry, A alpha 1, A alpha 2, A alpha R, beta 1, beta 2, in beta R. So we can write A2, this beta 1, beta 1, A prime, and beta 2, beta 2, A prime, and beta N, and beta N, A prime. Here A prime is a new non-terminal. Here A prime is a new non-terminal. Where A prime means what? A prime is this alpha one part, this alpha one part, alpha one, A one, this alpha two, A prime, this alpha two, A prime, and this alpha n, this alpha n, A prime, plus epsilon, plus epsilon. Okay, this is the general form. If the means uh, if any grammar contains multiple number of productions like this, so in this way we can remove the left recursion. Okay, now we'll see some examples. Eliminate left recursion from the following grammar. See here. This grammar contains this grammar, this is one grammar. This grammar contains left recursive grammar, left recursive production or not. First, is. this is E and this is E. So that's why, since E and E both are matched, so this production contains left recursive. So now we'll remove left recursive from the first production. How see? See here, let this part. This part is alpha, this part is beta. So E2, T means beta E prime, or E2 we can write T E prime. E2, E2, T E prime, E2, T E prime. So what is the meaning of E prime? T. E prime. So plus T means alpha. This prime. This alpha part. Alpha part is here. Plus T. Plus T. Then E prime. Okay plus epsilon. Okay, next. Now we'll check the second production. T, this part is T and this part is T. Both are matched. T and T both are matched. Since both are matched, so this production contains left recursive. This production contains left recursive. Now we'll remove how T2. What? This is the beta part. So F T prime. F T prime. Now this part is alpha part. So what is the meaning of T prime? See. T prime to alpha. This part is called alpha part. Means alpha means what? The star F then T prime. Okay, plus epsilon. Okay, so here F two ID, F two ID does not contain any left recursion. So simply write F two ID. Remember, this grammar, this grammar is cannot be cannot be used for LL one, not. This grammar cannot be used for LL1. But this grammar can be this grammar can be used can be used for LL1. 
this grammar can be used for for ll1 right now we'll see one more example See S two, see here S. This S both are matched, so this grammar contains also left recursive, and this is also S, so both are matched. This S, this S matched, this S, this S matched, both are matched, so that's why this grammar contains left recursive, and this one cannot be used for LL one parsing table. Now we will remove the left recursive from this grammar. this part is called beta so s2 a s prime class b b s prime so what is the meaning of s prime c s prime this part a this part is called beta this part is also called beta this part is called beta and this part is called beta so a s prime again a a to s prime then b to s prime b to s prime plus f sharp okay so in this way we can remove the left recursion from the left recursive grammar so this grammar cannot be used for ll1 but this grammar can be used for ll1 okay so in the next class we will see about the indirect left recursive grammar okay thanks for watching